Back in action, we're back in the action, boys. Now, real quick, as a lot of you guys know, right now I've been updating you with my whole situation with YouTube and our channel, not getting monetized, da 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 da, -da. Something that happens generally like three months out of the year for us, for as far as I can remember. That being said, it's still happening. We're still getting demonetized, mainly because I refuse to comply with 100% of YouTube's tactics of what they're trying to do with YouTube, da 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 da, -da. You know, I've already changed my comedy style so much on this channel where I don't want to do it anymore, so I'm not. Call me stubborn, that's what it is. So right now we are in the situation of not getting monetized a lot of the time, which is really stressful, obviously, you know, I put a lot of money into these videos and I put work into them and they don't shoot or they don't reach as they usually would because YouTube's not sharing me. But with that, in my previous experience, all we need to do is really just thumbs up a lot of these videos and give tons of comments down below. So if you guys want to do that, that'd be so, so dope. I really appreciate it, man. It's literally the only thing I've found that works and I know y'all can do it. We've done it before. We always do it. But here's your reminder, <laughs> please thumbs up. <laughs> Now getting into it, bro. So I've recently become really, really fascinated with buying things from eBay for videos just because it kind of spices it up for me and also probably you guys in the way of we don't really know what we're going to get. And also when you're shopping on eBay, I feel like there's always deals. I just like watching eBay videos. So I want to make more. You know what I mean? I want to buy more weird things on eBay and see if I can make money off them, which leads me to what we bought today. A little while ago, man, I was shopping eBay and I, I started to searching up like jewelry collections or jewelry lots, trying to pretty much look for somebody selling their jewelry collection for a good price that we could check out, see if we can make some money on it. If not, it's gonna be some cool content. You know, I just wanna own it. I wanna own what you had, by, well, I guess by buying it, but we're gonna review it so it makes a video and it's kinda cool, I think. It's like a mystery treasure chest with gold, maybe. So anyway, I found a seller who was selling a jewelry collection and uh, it was for $100. There was actually bidding on it. I messaged them, I said, yo, what's in this? because all they showed was like a Ziploc bag, I think it was, with a bunch of chains in it. I had no idea what I was looking at. So I asked and they said, I don't know why. They said their son or somebody moved out of their house and this is what they found and they're putting it up on eBay. So this is it, somebody's jewelry collection. I'm gonna unbox it and see if we can make money off it or just have a cool video from it. Sounds like a good idea to me. So hopefully you guys agree. I think that was bars. Ah, oh, I saw somebody on. God, world star yesterday tearing things in half like that and it doesn't work. Yeah, all right, here we go. Okay, <laughs> okay, so here it is. It's in the same Ziploc bag that they showed in the picture, I think. This pretty much is what I saw in their eBay picture. If I could find their eBay, I'll put it up, but I can't remember. I have got so many emails working with eBay, I have no idea. So here's what my plan is, bro. What I realized when I saw the picture of this on eBay, damn, this is sick, is it's all gold and silver, as you guys could see. So actually what we have is a real easy way to test what's real and what's not. First thing with silver, and gold, everything's actually gonna be marked. So if it's silver, it's gonna say 925, that's a silver. That means it's probably good, they stamp it on it. But if we're not sure, we can also take this magnet I have right here and it does not stick to silver. It only sticks to things that aren't silver that are just metal and fake, kind of, some of the times. So the magnet's not like really that good of a test, but we're mainly looking for the stamped numbers or the 10 karat gold stamps or whatever on these to see if they're real or not. So let's get into it, bro. I've been waiting for this because it seems so cool. Uh, first off, I'm just gonna get into a piece I see right here. Oh, there is some diamonds in here. Right off, I don't know if this is a watch clasp or what. Once again, we purchased for $100. Nobody bid on it. I was the only one that was just like, yo, I'll take it, and they sold it to me. But uh, yeah, first piece right here, not real. I just know, it, just by the weight, it's not real gold. These diamonds aren't set right. They look all around fake, not gonna waste our time. First thing in there, I'm just hoping to find something cool, bro. Next up, Oh, this is a biggie. Oh, this is the one that, okay, so I don't know what this is yet. Now I think I do. Now I think I do. Okay, so this, <laughs> that's kind of dope. This is something you've probably seen online a lot of times. Obviously fake, I can tell right now by the weight. The gold's not right, and therefore the diamonds aren't gonna be real either. As y'all can see, what this is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, no, I'm positive, is you, you cut out a little circle for the picture, you put it in right there, and you see like the little picture chain. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen that right there. That's cool though. Fake or not, man, what I've seen for this type of quality, it's probably like, I don't know, you could probably pay $50 for that online. I'm not gonna resell it. I'll probably give it away or throw it out. That's kind of dope to have in there. Next up, actually, this one's just hanging out. So we're gonna check real quick. This one I don't think is silver because it is super light. There's no stamps on it. Usually the stamp that says 925 would be somewhere right there. We'll test, oh yeah. And I don't know if you see that, it's magnetic. 
So that's not real. That sucks, but uh, still kind of a cool piece, I guess, if you guys want to rock some fake silver. I would just say buy the real stuff. It's actually quite cheap nowadays. Next up, though, this one I really have my eye on right here and I actually saw it in the picture and this is kind of what made me want to buy this because this was the only one that looked a little bit tarnished as opposed to other pieces in there and it's heavy too bro so either this is steel or real silver first off yeah that's not sticking which isn't a good test that's the magnet but the one thing I am gonna look for is the 925 because this actually I think this actually might be real silver now that I feel it oh oh and it's a score what okay there's no way you guys are going to see that, hopefully, if I get it in the right frame. It says Italy, which is, that's Italian silver, which is nice. I like seeing Italy on it. It says 925 right there. Hopefully you guys could see it, but that's the stamp. It's right on the clasp right there. That's real silver. That's real silver, which means this, there's another gold piece in here that's looking kind of weirdly tarnished. We're going to save that to a little bit later. Whoa. So there is real stuff in here. Holy sh**. All right, so I just tried searching online. I actually don't know how much this costs. I don't really buy that much silver anymore. I'm more into gold right now just because, like, I've stepped it up in life. I'm like, I only gold now because I'm a douche. But I would say maybe $50 to $100 for this thing. You guys let me know. It's 10 millimeters, 20 inches. Not sure what that costs, but we got it. And this is 100% real silver. She's marked. All right, so next up, we still got a ton of stuff in this bag. Hopefully it's not all tangled. We got this cool one right here. Now this almost to me, it's like kind of like a rope chainish type effect. This to me looks like it's got kind of a, a fake, uh, a fake gloss on it, if you will. Like it's not real silver, but it's trying to look it. So we're just gonna see. Yeah, the magnet doesn't stick to it though. The main thing, I would never trust the magnet fully, but the main thing is, yeah, there's no stamping on this whatsoever of silver. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. I doubt that is, it looks pretty fake to me. Looks like it's silver plated. Next up. We have this thing right here. We got a tennis chair, which is dope. We got diamonds in it right there. Um, definitely do not look real. I might have to pull out my diamond tester on this one, but we're actually just gonna test first off to see if this has any sort of markings on it because they're not putting real diamonds on a fake product. Okay, we have a marking. We have a marking. Ah, fuck! It says GW. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means at all. Yeah, no, not real diamond. All right, so I'm just gonna pass it off. It's probably fake. I might take these, some of these into a jeweler. I'm not sure. Why is that beeping? Next up, I'm saving this one for last, bro. There's this gold piece right here that looks tarnished to beyond belief. We're gonna save that one. Next up, we have another, is this a bracelet or what, with no clasp? Oh, is this the other bit of it? This might be the other, yeah, that's the other bit of it, bro. No markings though. It's light. I'd say it's fake. God damn it! We still got this though, man. This is cool. Next up, we got a gold chain. It's all tangled. Fuck! I hate tangles. Right here, we have another silver looking chain. We're gonna test it with the magnet. Okay, so that's not real. Now onto this gold one here. We're getting lower in this right now, man. God. 100 bucks. We've made a little bit back, maybe. Um, let's see this one. Okay, so that's also, oh, is gold magnetic? No, wait, gold might be magnetic. Possibly, I didn't search that one up. Uh-oh, oh, it's light though. It's too light, it's too light, it's too, damn it. So also with my like little tests that I'm doing on all this, I also do have personal experience on jewelry. I've owned tons of actual gold chains, actual real chains of silver. This looks too light, man. Light colored, it looks too gold colored. It also is just too light and there's no stampings that I can see on it. So we're gonna sanction that off as fake. Next up, another one right here. It's too light. That's not silver. It's too light. Yeah, like I thought. Damn it! So another fake silver chain. There, we got one more here. And then we're gonna get into this last piece. I think that's the last one. Yeah, right here, which is this gold one, bro. Please, 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 please. It's light, but it's sticking. It is drawn to it a little bit. God damn. Once again, fake. Fake pile, real pile. We got one left, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. Fake pile, god damn it. Real pile, we got one left. All right, so this one really, really caught my eye because if you actually guys can tell, this is the fake gold right here. This is what I think could be real. You see the color difference? That just looks fake. It's too, it's too gold. This looks good though. This looks like it might be good. So what we're gonna look for is the mark. Please, please, please. Oh, 
shoot. There's no marking. Any gold you get, something like this, it would say 10k or 14k on it or 18k on none of these clasps. This is anything right there. So, all right. I mean, it is too good to be true of a purchase, so it does make sense that this would not be real. This right here, I'm kind of stoked about. That's not bad, bro. We actually got a real piece, which I was not expecting. That's it. That's all in the bag. Uh, that's cool. That's a cool piece right there. Appreciate y'all for watching American Game, the greatest of all time. If y'all want more eBay type videos or videos where we go searching through other people's collections of stuff, I'm sure I can make it work somehow. I'm sure there's some people in Winnipeg that'll hit me up being like, yo, I got a bunch of stuff, da -da -da -da. come see my collection. I'm sure I could do that or I could fly out somewhere. Appreciate y'all for watching. Working the game, the greatest of all time. Y'all the goats. Uh, we, we, I think we took a W on this, even though I might be out some money. I'm not sure how much that, that silver actually costs. But also, once again, if you guys did not thumbs up, please thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new. Appreciate y'all for watching. Mercury game, the greatest of all time. Y'all the goats. Blah.